What's up, everybody? This is a recap on the USDGC as well as DGPT finals and maybe a little bit of a recap of the year. But uh, yeah, uh, I've been home for just about a week, just settling in to the off season. Uh, I actually am going on a two week vacation over to Japan and I leave tomorrow. Uh, extremely excited for that. J Japan's been one of my bucket list places, so I'm hoping to uh, hoping to have an amazing time over there. Uh, I think it's gonna just be uh, exactly what I want to wind down, put a cap on the, on the year, and do something a lot of fun before doing the whole process again of training, off season, getting ready for the next season. So really stoked for that. And yeah, uh, to talk a little bit about the USDGC, if you've been watching the videos that I have been doing, I'm not gonna break down everything into fine detail. I'm just gonna broadly talk about the tournament and overlay some footage. But uh, you know, USDGC, I didn't get the practice or I didn't feel confident with the practice I got in at the event. Uh, my, my back kinda got a little, it was a little bit tweaked. Uh, the bed we were sleeping in at the hotel, really soft. And uh, you know, I, I got in and my back didn't feel the best. By the time the tournament came on, it, was, uh, it wasn't bad, but definitely didn't get the practice that I wanted. And generally speaking, the tournament was pretty flat. Um, there was uh, honestly some pretty bad moments out there at Winthrop. I don't know, I just, uh, that course like should play so well to my game and I always play it fairly well, but I'm always like in this weird struggle. And I think everybody else is in the struggle too because obviously it's a, a really tough event, but I never seem to be able to break out of it. I'm always just shooting okay rounds other than the last round, which wasn't great. Um, but you know, out there at Winthrop, uh, Round one, I can't really remember. Uh, it was windy, and uh, I just, it, that was one of my better rounds, actually, because I shot a three under, and uh, you know, it wasn't anything crazy, but uh, since the, the wind was up, I uh, was able to have a decent round out there. And then rounds two, three, and four were all really, really good conditions, and the game was there, but I just messed up or I didn't get off to the greatest start. Um, I just had some trouble patches. The, the only big positive of the tournament is that I generally finished really well. Uh, I was three under on hole 17 and uh, I was two under on 18, but I birdied it the last three days. And uh, historically I've had a lot of issues with hole 18 because I, uh, I never knew like a good landing spot. I'd always try to bite too much off the fairway and go out of bounds. And I've, I've usually ended my rounds with bogey or greater, but uh, I just decided to take our chip forehand with a resistor. And uh, that seemed to be a, a really great uh, play. And throwing a runway up towards the green, that got me uh, three birdies. So I was, I was pretty stoked about that, but never had the one round to catapult me into the the top of the leaderboard at least the top 15 top 10 uh, so just kind of lagged behind uh, maintained an okay position throughout the tournament but ended up finishing in 27th place I had my worst round to finish which was even par uh, got off to a very uh, slow start and uh, maintained that through the middle part of the course but was four over at one point and I fought back to uh, to finish even par for the day, which definitely made it so uh, the hurt wasn't as bad. I mean, top 30, um, not really a great finish, but at the very least not a terrible finish. Made the cut at USDGC. Um, that's always a tournament I have high hopes for, but it's always difficult being so late in the season. Uh, my mind is usually thinking of the off season, but I always try my best to lock in and do my best at USDGC, even though it is tough. It's definitely a, 
a point that I want to make next year to be present moment focused at USDGC. Pro Tour Finals, uh, another event which uh, I have the same mentality in and uh, I got two practice rounds out there. It's tough coming off of USDGC playing all those rounds to immediately start practicing for the Pro Tour Finals, but uh, I got two practice rounds in out there. The way that the Pro Tour finales work this year is uh, there was a handicap system. Gannon started minus 10 and uh, he was the first in tour point standing. So everyone gradually got lower and lower handicaps and I had a minus one handicap. Um, so starting the event, uh, I just, nothing, nothing good happened at Nevin. And I can pretty much say that almost every round other than round two, but round one was, I was genuinely doing my best, or at least that's what I perceived. Um, and Nevin was laying it on me thick. Uh, and the thing is so, is so interesting because there's, there's usually times where I can pinpoint certain reasons that I'm not performing as well. Maybe I didn't sleep enough. My focus wasn't there. My diet's off. Like, you have to really look at the bigger picture and generally I have like a good uh, roadmap on what what part of my life needs to be in place in order to play well and honestly I couldn't understand it in Evan. I just I, I felt like everything was mostly there but execution and result just was not in my favor. Um, Round one, I had a very tough start, minus or plus four, and that was even with uh, you know finishing pretty strong. So it was even worse. Uh, I just felt like I could I could not get in the fairway, bad kicks, and that unfortunately set the tone for most of my events. Uh, fortunately, round two, I was able to put in a pretty good round. I shot a minus seven, <laughs> 11 strokes better, and that was at least enough to get me back to about the middle of the pack um, because before I was second to last place. So that was, uh, that was a good little bump and at least gave me some morale moving forward because I was just thinking, wow, this is gonna be a long event playing uh, at the, the back of the bus. So I felt a little bit competitive. Um, rounds three and four, very similar. Uh, Round three wasn't too bad, just uh, missed uh, a lot of opportunities to get another like six or seven under to jump me up even more. Finished uh, three under in that round, I believe. And then the final day I had the opportunity, if I played a good round, then maybe jump into the top 15 or so. Um, but didn't really go my way, found some struggles early in the course. Uh, and that's just, uh, that's just something with Nevin. Uh, it was, it's really difficult out there. You have to be hitting your lines and you have to be getting a few good breaks. Um, and on top of that, you know, maybe throw in some circle two putts and that was not happening. If those, if those uh, key points of the round aren't working for you, then you're gonna be, you're gonna be struggling and you're gonna be fighting, or at least I'm gonna be fighting to uh, maintain, uh, you know, an under par score. Um, but with Nevin, if things do go your way, then you can play a pretty hot round, but uh, that was not what happened on the last round. Uh, I think I finished plus one on the round, um, and I was even, uh, I think I was, no, I think I finished minus one. I don't know what I finished, but uh, it was just a struggle. I was just trying to take it all in stride, like hoping for a good round, but uh, with the start I had, I think I was like four over th through the first five with a birdie on the first hole. Um, so that was kind of a, a punch in the gut, at least for my chances of moving up. Um, but I tried to have a good mentality out there because it's the last round of the year. You just want to have enjoyable time. Um, and I feel like I managed to do that uh, generally well finished the the round with a birdie and uh, a birdie throwing two big sidearms. Um, birdie on 18 and remember just saying that it was officially the off season when I tapped out my putt. 
And that was my 2024 season concluding at the DGPT finals. I was very pleased to be able to qualify for the, the Pro Tour finals because I only played about two thirds of the season. I got my start at Champions Cup. Um, so I played a bit, of, a bit of an abbreviated season. So to still be in the top 32 with all the, the best players in the world and uh, with the players who play the full season and are just so good now, I feel like uh, that was a, a big positive. And that kind of leads me to talk just a little bit about my season at large. Like I said, I started at Champions Cup, so I didn't get the full season coming off of surgery. When shooting this, it's officially one year since surgery. And uh, it definitely took a little bit to get used to everything, just feel comfortable uh, psychologically to trust my forehand again. And by the end of the season, I was throwing forehands you know, around 420, 430 feet. I could probably get a forehand about 450 feet now, and I'm still, I'm still not throwing it 100%. So that is uh, that is a huge positive, um, and that's the biggest positive that I could take away from this year. Um, and you know, this wasn't the season where I necessarily achieved all my loftiest goals. Uh, I still was able to get some good finishes, third place at Worlds and uh, build confidence in my body for the years to come. And I think that's, it, that's what's most important. I finally feel like I'm in a place where I'm able to throw hard and basically have virtually no limitations. And that's, uh, that's something that I am very proud to say to, to really put that shoulder injury behind me. I know that that's, there's still a lot to be done in terms of strengthening the body and it's a, a constant process, but the fact is I feel more or less back to normal and that's uh, very exciting to say moving forward um, into, the, into 2025 and, and seasons to come. So yes, I, a, lot, a lot happened, new, new bag. MVP, my time with them has just been incredible. I love the family atmosphere. Uh, the people on the team are great. I l absolutely love the discs and just love them as a company. So MVP, I am I'm extremely proud to be part of the, the Gyronauts, MVPs, and uh, throwing some amazing discs. It's been uh, an absolute pleasure and beyond excited to see what I can do with them next year because I, I have a good feeling about it. So that all said, I'm going to enjoy the off season, get some training in. We'll see, I have some potential plans that I might execute, but right now uh, I'm just gonna enjoy some time. Come December, maybe Vlogmas, maybe not. Potentially just some videos at the very least. I don't know, but uh, I just wanted to thank all you guys for your continued support. As always, thank you. And until next time, keep on dreaming and peace.